she said that the biggest mistake that you made was your cover design for your first book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So part of selling your book is having a good cover design. And a good cover design communicates to the reader a level of professionalism and a level of engagement. Oh, that looks interesting. Let me click on it. And it's not only that you need to have an engaging cover design. It's that you need to have an engaging cover design that looks good as a thumbnail. Because in this day and age, the vast majority of people are going to first encounter your book as a thumbnail click on Amazon. So the very first thing they're going to see, the very first decision a potential buyer of your book is going to make is, okay, Amazon's showing me a whole screen of books in the cozy mystery genre, or Amazon is showing me a strip of books. People who bought this book also bought this book and, and your book is showing up there. So you want your cover design to be eye-catching as a thumbnail, not just as a blown up life-size cover. And then obviously people will click on your cover design, hopefully. And the next thing they're gonna do is read the little description. And the first thing that you should have are blurbs. We, yeah. So the first thing they're going to see, do is see the blurbs. Oh, okay. A couple people in this genre said this is a good book. Now, the third thing the customer, the potential buyer is going to do is download the free sample. And that's why a copy edit is so important. Because if you have some grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes, again, it communicates this is not professional. So it's sort of, if, if you think about the journey, it's I'm going to click on the thumbnail. I'm going to read the blurbs and, and the little description. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to check the ratings or the, or the reviews. Then I'm going to download the sample. And if all of those things fit, now I'm going to buy this book for $2.99 or $4.99 or $9.99 or what, 99 cents, whatever the price uh -huh. is. 